Hey everyone, this is Ben. Today we will learn how to enable both self-sign and valid SSL certificates when developing web apps using Vite and frameworks like React, Vue or others. And this is particularly useful when you are developing apps that must be an SSL to work, such as those that use push notifications or some Firebase services. Let's get started. To start, create a new app using Vite. Choose your preferred framework. And I choose React. OK. Run it using npm run dev. As you can see, the app is currently not using SSL. Let's enable SSL for it. Go to your project directory and open the vite.config.js file. If it doesn't exist, create it. In the define config, add server property and within it, add HTTPS. key and cert. Now we need a key and a certificate to enable SSL. You can easily get a self-signed SSL certificate using online tools. Here I enter my app name and click on Generate SSL. This is the certificate and this is the key. Download them Alternatively, you can generate them using OpenSSL. Install OpenSSL. And run this command to create a self-signed SSL certificate. Anyway. Once you have your certificate and key files, move them into your project folder. Then add them to your Vite config. Save it and it will automatically reload. Now our app has SSL enabled. However, keep in mind that it is self-signed and therefore not valid. However, you can use it for development purposes.
You can also run Vite on a network address, npm run dev, followed by double dash, then another double dash and host. The first double dash separates wheat options from npm options. Now you can access your app from both localhost and your network IP. And this is the LAN IP address of this computer. And I can also access it from my mobile. Because this computer and my mobile are on the same router. And also you can use a domain instead of IP. Just type your desired domain name after host. But you'll need to bind your IP address to the domain. Let's edit hosts file. Bind your domain to the IP address. And the hosts file can be edited on Windows, Mac, and Linux. Let's run the app again. We can now access our app through this domain. But keep in mind that this domain is local and can only be accessed from this computer. Next, let's get a valid SSL certificate. The domain we used earlier is not a real domain. To get a real SSL certificate, we need a real domain. You can buy a domain for a low cost. And I've already bought a .top domain. Let's get a valid SSL certificate for this domain. Go to the Let's Encrypt website. Let's Encrypt is a free certificate authority that gives you a free SSL certificate for three months. And after that, you can renew the certificate for free. Since we don't have a server, we can skip the part about shell access and go for the without shell access. Here says we can install CertBot on our PC and use it in manual mode. First, we need to install CertBot. Go to the CertBot website. And select Other. Select your operating system. I select Ubuntu. And I've already installed CertBot before. If you are using Windows, download and install this file. After CertBot is installed, run CertBot Cert only, followed by dash dash manual and dash dash preferred challenges. Here you can use HTTP or DNS. And for now we select DNS and then we must add a TXT DNS record to our domain. To do this, we need to take control of our domain's DNS. I choose Cloudflare for DNS management, but you can choose any DNS manager. Add your domain.
and I choose the free plan. Now we need to change the name servers of our domain to Cloudflare name servers. Here is my domain control panel. Now we have to wait a bit for changes to be applied. For me, it only took 30 minutes. And after the changes are applied, we can manage our domain's DNS. Here we can create any DNS record. Let's get this certificate. CertBot Cert only dash dash manual dash dash preferred challenges here we have HTTP and DNS and we select DNS Then dash D and the domain name. And another dash D and star.domain to get the certificate for the domain and all subdomains. Since I am using Ubuntu and need some permissions, I need to run it with sudo. And I enter the password of my computer. Enter your email and read and accept the term of service and also yes for this. Now we need to add a txt record under this name and this value. Go to DNS management, add a new record. Select TXT. And the value. Save it. And here press enter. And it says add another record. And do not remove or replace the previous record. All right, and here wait a few seconds and then press enter. And okay, our valid SSL certificate is ready and this is the private key. And it will expire in three months. Now add an A record to create a subdomain with the name my app. And for the IP address, use your network IP.
end and check proxy because we only need DNS and save it. Now we use the valid certificate and the private key here. Private key. And certificate. And here we run npm run dev with my app dot a real domain. And I think I need to run it with sudo. Perfect, now we have a valid SSL and connection is secure and certificate is valid. Let's encrypt and it will expire in three months and after that you can renew it for free. And the best part is I can also access it from my mobile.